writing a book, or at least I'm trying to. I first came up with the idea for this book months ago, and I started writing for that book. And then I started slowly falling out of love with what I was writing. And then one day I realized I just absolutely hated everything I had written for the book. I hated the characters I was building. I hated the setting. I hated the genre. I hated the direction I was taking it. So I did something that did pain me at the time. Uh, I scrapped it all. I didn't actually delete it. I just put in a different document. The only thing I kept was the essence of it, the story I wanted to tell and the ending. Now for me, when it comes to writing, the first thing that I come up with for a story is how it ends. And then just figuring everything else out is it comes with time. I'm actually still figuring it out. I'm just winging it actually. So needless to say, uh, coming up with the new characters, naming the new characters, doing research because it is science fiction and also writing the first chapter. Oh, I hated that. And I've only just kind of gotten to that point. It's very early on. And I mean, very, I'm working on chapter two. Those first five chapters are just, that's where I struggle. So to kind of help push myself through the first five chapters and motivate me a little bit, I have two things I'm doing. The first one being a new year's resolution goal that I am starting now because I know if I wait till 2024, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to procrastinate it. And that goal is to at least once every single day, sit down, open my doc and write something for my story. The second one is me doing this. What I'm going to be doing in this video is documenting my entire week of writing. In a perfect world, by the end of this video, I would have written at least 10,000 words for my story. We'll see if that happens. If not 10,000, at least eight. Five would be great even. I am currently writing trying to write. I am in bed though, and I usually like to write at my desk because it keeps me a little more productive, but I usually crawl in bed to write when I am in the mood of, I really don't want to, but I need to. A little update on today's word count so far, we are at 61 words. Very nice. I've recently been leaning into that whole, your first draft should be a dumpster fire, and oh my god, it's a dumpster fire. I read through what I have so far, and Everything is tied together by the thinnest thread. But it's okay, because at least I'm getting words in a document for once, unlike what I was doing for the last two months, which was not shit. Today's writing day <laughs> took a turn. I originally planned to spend most of my day at this bookshop bistro that recently opened about 40 minutes away from my house. I did go there. I woke up in the morning, I got ready, I left. And then I got there, I got a little chai latte, and then uh, I couldn't find a seat. I looked around for a little bit, but obviously I ended up leaving because, you know, I didn't have a spot to sit. So then I ended up driving 40 minutes back and I went to a Barnes & Noble near me and I spent about like an hour or two there. I did manage to write a little bit. I think my total word count by the time I left was like 392 words, I believe. It's not a great word count. It's a lot less than I anticipated to do when I left the house, but that was just the first writing session. I plan to sit here and write again tonight. And considering the fact I only got 91 words last night, I'll take 392. That second writing session I was talking about just took place right now. And what it entailed was uh, me opening the doc on my phone and just typing a few sentences. I think I maybe got another paragraph and a half. I don't think I'm gonna end up writing anymore tonight, but if I do, I'll update you tomorrow. But as of right now, today's word count is ending at 5.59. I just need you all to see the sweater I'm wearing. It says silly goose. And that's what I feel like right now. And not in a good way. It's 11.23. PM. I have just over half an hour to write something in my doc so that I can say I wrote something one day every day, once every day, one time every day. I don't know if I should be writing right now. I also just read one of the most devastating things of my entire life and I, that's not the tone that my book is supposed to be in yet. I don't know how sad I want to be. I want, I want it to be kind of impactful, but I don't know if I want any of it to be as sad as I feel right now. God. Freaking words on a page. Who gave them the right to have this much power over my emotions? All right, well, <laughs> I am at 510 words. I think at the beginning of this video, I said in a perfect world, I would get 10,000 words within this one week. I don't think that's gonna happen. 500 seems to be my limit right now. And I have, I have a theory about that, but let me just close this out. 510 words, you know, it could be worse. It could be better but it could be much worse. At least I wrote something today and I believe before the day ended. So technically I have still written every single day. I had an outline for this story, but by the time I finished writing chapter one or technically chapter two, I'm just gonna call it chapter two. That outline 
down the toilet. I can't remember if I mentioned before, but there's something that just organically came out as I was writing and that piece just ended up changing a rather big part of the story. And so that alone derailed my entire outline. My outline just needs to be redone. So my plan right now is to write the first five chapters or so, kind of set up this new setting that I wasn't actually anticipating on and then revisiting my outline and redoing it. Which means right now when I write, I'm winging it. If someone were to read my doc right now, it would make absolutely no fucking sense. It, it barely makes sense to me right now, I'm gonna be honest. I think in order to reach that 10,000 word goal like I had wanted to when I started this, I would have need to have written 1,500 words a night. Haven't done that. My new goal is that by Friday, which would mark a week of me making this video, I will have written the first five chapters. That seems attainable. They don't need to be good five chapters, but uh, they need to be somewhere in there so that then I can start working on the outline and actually have some sense of what the hell I'm doing, because I don't right now. I have those days where I don't necessarily feel like writing, but I still have thoughts and I'm still excited to work on a scene, and then I have those days where I just don't feel like opening this doc, and today is the latter. It's a Monday, you know, I had to work my little nine to five. As much as I'd love for my job to just be reading and writing books, it's not. So, you know, today's Monday, Monday. It didn't have the best day. It could have been worse, but it wasn't great. And I just opened my doc and remembered that last night, the stuff that I wrote does not correlate with the previous stuff I had written down. No direction. I don't even remember what I was trying to do with this first scene. So what I think I'm going to do for the next half hour is just read over what I have in here, maybe move some things around, try to remember the thought process I had when I was first writing this scene. If not, I might... I can't. I have to... No, I might just not write tonight. I don't know. I'm trying my best, but I'm human, okay? We'll see how this goes. Maybe I'll close this out, go read something, and then I'll be interested in writing. Who knows? Read through what I last wrote and it's not bad and I do understand what I was trying to get at and where I was trying to take that scene. So I wrote a few extra sentences, about 183 words, not a lot, nothing to write home about. It does help progress the scene a little bit more and then I took a few notes just to kind of remind future me whenever I open this again of how I was trying to wrap it up and then also of what I was trying to lead up to for the following scene. I'm still not in the mood to write so I think I am just gonna close this out for right now. I might reopen it later, don't know. What I'm gonna go do though is read. Today was not a good writing day because it wasn't a writing day at all. I opened my doc, I wrote 34 words, and then I closed my doc. And that's all I have for you today. I have written 1,194 words so far today and it sounds good but it's not, and I'm gonna tell you why. About 700-ish of those words weren't for the story that I have been writing for this entire week. I mean, some of those words are for, you know, my, my book, but <laughs> some of them aren't. I'm a little torn on this because obviously I would love if all 1100 plus of those words were all for my novel. And then on the other hand, I'm just excited that I was able to write that much in general. I feel like I'm in a little bit of a writing slump, which is just fucking fantastic. The one week that I decide, hey, I'm gonna do a writing vlog is when I'm like, I don't, I don't think I can write right now. <laughs> That's why I have these other things that I write for though, because most of the time it's not a matter of I can't write, I am stuck in my writing process, it's I'm stuck in the story. These other things that I write for provide me with a bit of a relief, a little bit of a break from writing from it and helps me just get back into the flow of writing and that's what I'm hoping this is doing. Fingers crossed that there is a really nice payoff for my actual novel tomorrow when I sit down to write. You know I said my new goal was to have five chapters written for my book by the end of this week and I thought that was going to be attainable. I don't know about that either anymore but you know this is just reality. I could lie but I'm not going to. Today has been a better day with writing, and I'm very excited about it. I have written 863 new words for my novel, and it feels so damn good. I was a little frustrated the last few days with all the random bits and pieces that just weren't making sense that I was writing. What I did today was I took those pieces and I put them in a different doc and I just started over. And at certain points I went, oh yeah, I think I started writing something about this. So I went to that separate doc and I would just pull little bits and pieces. We worked them a lot so that they'd make some sense 
so that they were coherent sentences. And now I have 863 words that make sense and that are chronological because I was not writing chronologically. I'll have three whole chapters written for my story. There's obviously some pieces that are highlighted and have a note that goes finish this another time, set up this scene, add more here, things like that. But that is a problem for a later time, not right now. I know I said I wanted to get at least the first five chapters written before the end of this week. It might still happen. I might still write some more tonight, but I'm pretty content with the three chapters I have because it's more than I thought I was gonna get at one point. So this is nice. All right, well, it's been a week now of me writing and recording it. Things did not go as I had hoped they would. I was hoping to get 10,000 words. Did, did not get 10,000 words. But you know what? We have three chapters written and that is better than zero. I'm just trying to be positive because I'm a little sad inside. Though I didn't reach the 10,000, 8,000, or even 5,000 word count or five chapter goal that I had anticipated, I do have a little bit of a foundation for my story now. And you know what? That's, that's brilliant. Because imagine if I had 10,000 words and none of it actually made any sense. That would actually, that would be terrible. I'm really trying to make myself feel better here right now. It's hard not to be hard on myself and disappointed in myself, but you know what? It's fine. I do think filming this video in a way though kept me from not writing something every single day. Even if there's a day where I only wrote 60 something words, it was still better than zero. But all right, I've been doing this for a week now, so... I'm done. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you watched this far, I don't know what else to say. Uh, bye?